Several months ago, uh, I did a video uh, in response to a suggestion that somebody gave me uh, about giving some tips for older hikers. I guess they thought I was old. If you've not seen it yet, I'll leave the link right up above. Well, many people told me what a help it was to them. And so today I want to do a follow-up to that video and give you some more tips for older hikers. By the way, a lot of these tips will be applicable to uh, younger people as well. So uh, you can listen in too if you want to. So stay tuned. Tip number one, don't be a grumpy old man or woman. Just don't be a grumpy hiker, period. It seems like the older that we get, sometimes uh, we have a tendency to get grumpier. Get off my lawn! I often say that the trail is not all rainbows and unicorns. There's some hard uh, times, but you don't have to be grumpy about it. You don't have to complain and gripe and bellyache. Basically, everything is relative. Uh, what may be a hard trail for one person may be an easy one for another person. What may be enjoyable for one person may be miserable for another person. And so learn to be a satisfied, learn to be a happy hiker. It's just like the old adage, you can either complain about the glass being half empty or you can be happy that it's half full. It's up to you. So you can complain about all the conditions of the trail or you can just be thankful that you're able to be out and hiking. So don't be a grumpy hiker. In the Bible, when Moses was leading his people uh, out of Egyptian captivity uh, towards the promised land, he uh, was telling the people and he was uh, preaching to them about complaining all the time. And he said, in the morning, you say, would God it was evening. And then the evening time you say, would God it was morning. And so again, Moses had a problem with his hikers. Number two, Pull from your life experiences. Uh, being older, of course, uh, older hikers have more experiences in life than younger hikers, hikers do. And so uh, basically we have an advantage uh, over younger hikers. And so uh, pull from those life experiences. Even though you may not be an experienced hiker, as an older hiker, uh, you can apply a lot of life lessons uh, to hiking and backpacking on the trail. When you come up to a problem on the trail, uh, you can think back on how you handled something uh, when you were going through that same situation in life. That's what wisdom is. Wisdom is just taking uh, the experiences that you learn uh, from life and just applying them to situations that you come up to. And so it's the same thing with hiking. Just use the vast amount of experience that you've had in life to be a wiser hiker. Number three, as an older hiker, take advantage of your sleeping patterns. Now, what I mean by that is <laughs> when you get older, uh, it seems like you don't sleep as much as you did when you were younger. I always have problems sleeping on trail, and so instead of tossing and turning all night, I take advantage of it and uh, go to bed earlier and wake up earlier and uh, hike rather than toss and turn. On the last part of my uh, PCT journey, uh, I was I was I got into a pattern of getting into camp about six o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, eating, setting up camp, uh, and then uh, going to sleep by uh, 8 o'clock. Then I would get up at about 4 o'clock in the morning and get everything packed up uh, and get on the road by, by 5. 
And so I wasn't hiking as fast as younger hikers uh, did, but I did hike longer hours than they did uh, because <laughs> I wasn't sleeping as long as they were. Now, sometimes after lunch, I would uh, uh, take a siesta, which is a, a fancy word for nap. But as an older hiker, I would uh, get in more hours uh, on trail uh, because of my not being able to sleep as much as I did when I was younger. Next number, number four, take advantage of your time off. When I was working, uh, there's no way that I could take off for five and a half months and six months to do a long distance trail. And uh, the most that I could take off really was about three or four days. And so I did some short hikes during that time. But now that I'm retired, uh, I've, got, I've got all the time in the world. <laughs> but perhaps you've been at your uh, job for uh, a length of time and uh, you've got a lot of seniority there. Uh, maybe you could take off a little bit more than you could uh, when you were younger and just starting off. And so take advantage of the time that you have uh, to go hiking because, again, you'll never know how much time you've got to hike. I had to wait until I retired in order to do a through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. So if you have uh, extra time uh, because uh, you're older and you have seniority and stuff like that, uh, take advantage of that time because, listen, you may not ever have that opportunity again. Next, be aware of your health. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, you can't uh, hike and you can't go backpacking or even do a long distance trail uh, if you have bad health, but you need to be aware uh, of your health situation. I was diagnosed uh, seven years ago uh, with a triple A, which is an abdominal aortic aneurysm. And so when I did the Pacific Crest Trail, that was always on my mind. And uh, again, I was trying to be aware of it uh, as I was hiking. Eight months after I finished the Pacific Crest Trail, I was hiking a little short trail, day hiking, on a short trail in my area and I suffered a heart attack. Now, I didn't know I was gonna suffer a heart attack and sometimes you're not aware of things like that, but now I carry uh, nitroglycerin and uh, I'm aware of how you feel when you do have a heart attack. By all means, be sure and carry a GPS and a, a SOS uh, system uh, on yourself in case you do run into some problems. Uh, I always carry a uh, Garmin Henreach uh, Mini, and uh, uh, I've never had to use it before, but uh, it's there in case I need it. If you have diabetes, just uh, be aware of, of the situations that come with uh, diabetes. And uh, when you're hiking, uh, take precautions. If you have bad knees, just be aware of it. And, uh, and, and again, uh, don't hike as fast. Don't uh, be careful when you hike downhill. But again, it doesn't mean that you can't hike. It doesn't mean that you can't do things. You just have to be aware of it and compensate for bad health. Number six, uh, <laughs> this is a good one. Don't forget your meds. As an older hiker, you probably are taking more medications than you did when you were younger. I've got about seven medications that I take. And so when I go on a hike, I have to make sure that I bring all my meds with me because uh, I'd hate to be out on the trail uh, without them. I usually put uh, my medications in snack bags and uh, then put uh, all of the snack bags in a larger maybe quart size or gallon size whatever and just put that in with your uh, food bag so don't forget your meds and uh, if you need to get some more on trail you can always go into a trail town and uh, perhaps maybe have the, uh, the pharmacy <coughs> there in the trail town 
uh, to fill the prescription for you, or you could have a pharmacy that you normally deal with to send it to uh, a post office. And last, and this is so important, but as an older hiker, push yourself, but be aware of your limitations. I know uh, it seems like uh, we feel like that we are super men, super women, and, and that we have no limitations whatsoever, but uh, there are limitations to what we can do uh, as older hikers. We're just not as young as we were. I have found that it takes me a lot longer uh, to recover uh, from a long day of hiking. Uh, man, I've got sore muscles and joints, and uh, it just takes a lot longer than it did when I was younger. But don't be afraid to push yourself. Uh, that's the only way that I uh, finished the PCT, is I was willing to uh, push myself uh, hard. There's a saying that goes, uh, you know, listen to your body. And I always say, if I listen to my body, when I was out on trail, I'd be sitting at home watching TV. So push yourself and uh, strive for that extra mile, strive to go a little bit longer, uh, strive to go a little bit higher, and uh, but be aware of when to say no, uh, you can't. I was hiking with a couple of 20, 30 year olds and I was keeping up with them pretty good. But uh, man, towards the end of the day, I was just spent. I was just tired and they wanted to go a little bit further. And so I just had to tell them, uh, look guys, <laughs> you guys go on. I'm gonna stay right here. And uh, there was a good campsite there, by the way. Uh, I'll just stay here and camp and you guys will go ahead and I'll catch up with you later. And by the way, I did. But as an older hiker, don't get yourself in a situation where you have to call uh, 911 or <laughs> push the SOS button. Don't be that person. <laughs> but if you have to, do it. Now, I hope you enjoyed these and I uh, hope they uh, uh, help you out now or help you out in the future when you plan on doing a hike. But if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please be sure and do so and uh, give me a thumbs up leave a comment below if you have a question uh, be sure and uh, leave the question in the comment section and uh, i will get back with you as soon as possible now if you want to learn a little bit more about things that i've learned uh, be sure and check out those videos right there and uh, until next time i will see you down the trail